This is the first year NECC has issued this award, reflecting the organization's mission to lead the just, equitable, and rapid transition to a clean energy future and a diverse climate economy. We at Hydro-Quebec share that mission, and it's our honor to recognize those companies and organizations that are having direct impact at the community level. The Community Impact Ch Champion Award is given to an organization that has made a substantial community impact connected to clean energy and climate tech. The finalists have leveraged the opportunities presented by the climate economy to positively affect the health, prosperity, and resilience of often overlooked communities. The finalists are All In Energy, which has partnerships, <laughs> has partnerships in 52 cities and towns to help lower income and minority households access clean energy programs. Block Power which is conducting building electrification projects and green jobs training throughout the Northeast and beyond. <laughs> Citizens Energy Corporation, which has built the Daughters of Mary microgrid in New Britain, Connecticut, as part of its 40 community-based solar projects across the country. <laughs> and the winner is Block Power for its numerous electrification projects in lower income and minority communities. Hello, all. my name is Craig Altimos. I'm the Director of Strategic Partnerships for Block Power, also an employee uh, of the awardee. I'm accepting this award on behalf of our founder, Danielle Baird, um, who grew up in a one bedroom apartment in New York City with no heat. Uh, and the only way his family heated their apartment was by turning on the oven every night, opening the oven door, and then opening the kitchen window so they didn't die of carbon dioxide poisoning throughout the night. Um, and growing up in that environment, our, our founder committed to making sure that every single building in America is electric, uh, does not suffer from pollution or negative health impacts, and that we really lead with those who are needing this transition first the most. Right, so, so people who look like him as a black immigrant rather than people who look like me, you know, we chose the multifamily building segment as our target market, not because it was easy, but because it was hard. And no one else was doing the work. And so we are committed to making that just transition happen with that segment first in line. Uh, but we definitely could use some help if you own or know people who own multifamily buildings in Massachusetts. We'd love to help you decarbonize them. Um, I want to give a shout out to some of our partners in the room. Uh, the Massachusetts Clean Energy Center, which is funding us to launch a program to train 30 returning citizens to enter the building electrification industry next year, uh, which we're partnering on with Roxbury Community College, Brown and the Green Space, the Bar Boston Office of Returning Citizens, and Cobden Square Neighborhood Development Corporation. Um, really. So a huge number of folks in this room we can thank. I also want to give a shout out to our fellow nominees, uh, All in Energy and, and Citizens Energy for their phenomenal work. Uh, but as many others have said, this is obviously a crisis moment. We all need to be doing our best, so, so let's get to it. Thank you very much. Thank you.